Part 1. White Clouds. Harpstring Moon. Familiar Scenery. In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltine and Grander. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, Use your time wisely. More bandits? Not very original, Teach. Well, as long as you're with us, at least things won't be boring. In fact, it may take a turn for the interesting. And with that, I take my leave to make my final preparations. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Well, I didn't expect it would be easy on you. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. It seems I was right to worry. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now. But don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever. Those bandits really didn't think things through, did they? They had to have known the knights would be after them the moment they entered the monastery's turf. Fine by me, though. I'm raring for some real combat experience. 
Any chance to grow is a good thing. Is there anything else you want to ask me, Teach? About living at the monastery or combat? Anything like that? Students aren't the only ones who have something to learn from their professors. Professors can also learn from each other. If you want to, you should try trading knowledge with Professor Hanneman or Professor Manuela. The house a student belongs to is determined by where they're from, but it is possible for someone to switch to a different one. Of course, that's only if the student very strongly wants to make the change and their professor is on board with it. If you do a lot of different activities around the monastery, you'll get closer to students and they may ask you about it. Your performance in the mock battle was exceptional, Professor. You have inspired me to follow your example and study even more diligently. Perhaps we could train together sometime. I would love to test myself against your sword skills again. Professor, that said... It is better if you do not approach me. If you spend too much time around a man of Dusker, there will be rumors. That reminds me. The Boar Prince and I were inseparable. I know him better than almost anyone else. So let me give you some advice. Beneath all that princely polish, he's an animal, nothing more. He's strong and skilled, sure. But don't place your trust in him as a human being. Take care he doesn't chew you up and spit you out. Join me for some training sometime. I'm interested in your sword technique. I might like to become your student someday, but not today. And now that you're all the way over here, Professor, care to join me in some training? After training, I love tending to the horses or burying myself in a good pile of books. <sighs> There's truly nothing better. Hi, Professor. Did you need something? I've actually got plans, so let's talk some other time. Professor. Hey there, Professor. You here to check in on my training? Oh, that reminds me. I found this small cloth. It's kind of weird. Not really sure what it is, but it works great for wiping up sweat. Hey, Professor. Here to cause some trouble? No? Well, whatever then. The next assignment is to drive out bandits? Sounds like some training is in order. Tell me something, Professor. When it comes to a one-on-one -on -one battle, which is better, strength or skill? I knew it! When it's all said and done, muscle always comes out on top. Here's an idea. Hey, do you know how old Captain Gerald is? That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? It's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of caring. I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. Professor, that it's not... By the I guess it's... I have a request. <laughs> for my well it's it's like a pale blue cloth have you seen it oh, thank you so much i do find you very interesting professor 
I'm just not sure if it's enough to change classes. Hmm. Let me think about it a bit more. What is it? I'm not doing anything! Cake? Oh, come on! That's just cruel. Um... I... Sorry, I'm trying. But you're still kind of a stranger. Hmm. Have we met? No. Sorry. You remind me of someone I know. is to go after a group of bandits. I'm... not very confident. I'm afraid I'll just hold everyone else back. I should probably stay behind for this one, or help plan the attack instead. Professor, nothing to report. Are you settled in here at the monastery yet? Make sure to have a good look around. There's much to see. Like fish. You do know about the pond behind the dining hall, right? You can fish there. Give it a try. Just wanted to spar. You there. We will accompany you on your assignment. We don't want anything to happen to our precious students. If any of you run into trouble, we'll step in and help out. Hey. Oh, Professor, how are you today? I'm just heading out for a mission. I'll be seeing you. I don't need luck. This will be a piece of cake. I'll be back before you know it. A 
moment, please. Perhaps. There are way too many vegetables in today's meal. The ratio of vegetables to sweets was completely skewed. Oh, hi, Professor. Were you just eavesdropping on me? Well, everyone knows a plateful of sweets is far preferred to a plateful of vegetables, regardless of age. Bridget has much more warmth than Fodlin. Even spring here has coolness. And you, Professor? Which do you find is worst? Too hot or too cold weather? I have agreeance. In Bridget, I am able to be wearing much lighter clothes. Training has given me great busyness right now. It is not a good time for the chatting. But you have given me intrigue. Please make sure you are speaking with me again. everyone's likes and dislikes so I know what to cook. Who knows when it'll be my turn at kitchen duty. How about you, Professor? Do you like sweet or spicy food? Ooh, same! I'll definitely remember that. Huh? You think I would be a good fit for your class? Mm, I'm not sure. There's still a lot I want to learn from my current class. Sorry to disappoint. Would you kindly do something for me? Hello there. the Cardinals. They are the ones who run the church. Their identities are a closely guarded secret. Please. You know, Professor, there are some things I'll just never understand. Like the other night, I went on a date with a dashing, handsome, strong young knight. Oh, I'm a bit weak just remembering him. Anyway, do you know what that no-good jerk said when we got back to my room? He said, what a mess. I'm afraid to go in there. Can you believe it? You know who cares about keeping everything neat and tidy? Not me, that's who. Afraid to go in there. Some knight he is. Bored. Maybe I should go into town, but that would be such a hassle. Oh, hi, Professor. I'm rather busy right now, so do make it quick. Are you sure? I thought you'd found me out for a moment there. thinking what about... professor you're the one taking out the bandits <laughs> that's one way to start your career at the Academy I didn't expect they'd order us to risk our lives here seems a bit extreme doesn't it what's up professor you need something from me hey I got a girl waiting well two <laughs> they don't know about each I mean can we talk later <laughs> I 
was thinking. The Knights of Saros are also known as the Shining Knights. We are the sword and shield of the divine Saros. There are many orders of knights in the world, but we are the only one that has the honor of bearing the name Saros. As a member of the church, you should probably study up on the history of Saros and the knights. Let's see. That person sure does remind me of somebody, but I can't figure out who. Oh, do you need me for something? Sorry, but I'm really busy right now. I've heard your class is hunting thieves. That mission is very different from the one we were given. You're quite powerful to have beaten us in the mock battle. Such a shame you aren't leading our class. It's thanks to my adoptive father, Lenato, that a commoner like me is here at the Academy. He is the very model of chivalry. Someday, I'm going to be just like him. Huh? You're inviting me to join your class? I'm really flattered, honestly, but I still have a lot left to learn in my current one. the Iyer family. We have long held the position of Prime Minister in the Empire. The Empire's power lies with six noble families, my family foremost among them. The full explanation may be time-consuming. I can give you a moment to get ready, if you would like to take notes. All right, I will list the six great noble families. There is Kaspar's father, Count Burgles, the Minister of Military Affairs. Then there's Linhart's father, Count Hevering, the Minister of Domestic Affairs. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is the Minister of Religious Affairs. Hubert's father, Marquis Vestra, is the Minister of the Imperial Household. Finally, we have Duke Gert, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and my own father, Duke Iyer, the Prime Minister. One day, I will take his place as the Prime Minister of the Empire. I am more talented than anyone in my class, even Edelgard. I will lead the Empire to a bright, enlightened future. There is nothing I cannot achieve. Oh, Professor. Here to recruit me, I presume? Well, the eldest son of House Iyer will not be so easily swayed. the Officers Academy of the Monastery was founded about two centuries ago. The eastern region of Fodlan was being invaded by Almira, and so the Archbishop of the time took measures to prevent the border from being taken. In order to ensure Fodlan would be safe from potential threats, she deemed it necessary to raise a generation of excellence. That is how the establishment was founded, though its purpose has changed over the years. Join your class? Hmm, well, 
I'm already having so much fun in my current class. Sorry to disappoint, but I'll have to decline. There's something else. It is the duty of every Fodlan noble to demonstrate piety towards Seros. Have you also come to offer your prayers to the goddess, Professor? I see. The truth is, I am not a particularly devoted believer either. But it would be unbecoming for a noble like me to neglect his prayers, wouldn't it? So. Inside the cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Do you know of them? Saint Indec, Saint Macuel, Saint Keyhole, and... Saint Sathleen! Who is your favorite professor? Now that you are a member of the church, be sure to familiarize yourself with our teachings and traditions. I have something to ask of you. favor to ask. Even people from far-off lands gather here at the Academy. Word of advice, Professor. There are those who don't think kindly of such people. Professor, you here to check in on my training? Oh, that reminds me. I found this small cloth. It's kind of weird. Not really sure what it is, but it works great for wiping up sweat. Am I doing all right? I hope I'm not too off. Regardless of the quality, this is a good chance for us to prove our solidarity. <laughs> so, well done. You have my thanks. Lovely. 
swimming through a sea of countless books, tracking down that single sought-after volume, it's absolute bliss. How do the poor fools who spend their days sharpening swords and polishing armor find any joy in life? Huh? Your class? I can see the appeal, yes. However, I still have a lot of books I wish to read in this class. But talk to me again, okay? I'm so glad to be a student here. If only because I get to use this library. Reading books from all the regions of Fodlan. I feel almost like I'm visiting those places myself. I agree. They're brimming with the knowledge and experience of our ancestors. Well then. Excellent work guiding the students in the mock battle. Taking command like that? Simply splendid. And bearing the Unknown Crest's power? Yes, I'm talking about you. Your talents are incredible, and Lady Rhea's insight as to your potential is doubly so. Thanks for your help. is a place of great significance to the Church of Saros. Even members of the Church are forbidden from entering without permission. To go trampling around in there, causing trouble. Those bandits truly are morally reprehensible. I see. Hey, yeah. Thank you for paying me a visit. Is there anything troubling you? Or is there perhaps something I can help you with? You seem to be getting along well with the students. I would advise you to be confident in your abilities. The rest will fall into place in time. I can often be found here, so if there is ever anything you need, please do not hesitate to pay me a visit. Lifesaver. I would be liking that greatly. 
I appreciate any good meal, but nothing beats enjoying my favorite food. Please come again. Welcome. Will this one do? Many thanks. This one do many things. Will this one do many things? Will this one do many things? Come back soon. Don't tell me. No one bothered to show you the standard procedure for lectures? I guess it's up to me to save the day. Before starting a lecture, be sure to first check on our study goals. After all, students will want to prioritize studying things that relate to their goals. It's probably easier to get good results if you instruct students based on their interests and specialties. But that doesn't mean it's pointless to teach things that don't relate to someone's goals. Not by a long shot. By overcoming their weaknesses, some students may develop an interest in new fields. A student's study goals may need to be updated based on their learnings and experiences. It's an important part of being teach to counsel students like that. How well their tutoring goes will depend on a student's motivation. It's possible that interacting with students on a regular basis will raise their motivation. Maybe. Then again, what do I know? In any case, make sure to keep an eye on how motivated everyone is. Students are encouraged to partake in various activities around the monastery. If you have students work together, it will give them a chance to interact and maybe even help them achieve better results. Have you heard about the monthly certification exams? If you want to become a certain class, you have to pass the certification exam for it. That means training up on the required skills so you can pass. Don't slack when it comes to teaching your students what they need to know to pass their certification exams.
get the next one, too. Yeah! Who's the best? I'm the best. <laughs> I'm glad I put in some effort. For once. I think I got the hang of it. get excited about. I'm getting it. Question, Professor. Yeah, absolutely. Clumsy. But do you think you can manage a bit of weeding? Just pulling up weeds? I can try. I'll start over there. Please do. No, wait! Those are incredibly precious vegetables! There. It's over. Not as hard as I thought. Thanks.
deploy a battalion, you can use their special gambit. If you successfully pull off a gambit, you may be able to affect the outcome of the battle, even if just a tiny bit. If you join forces with a nearby ally, there's a good chance that the results will be even greater. I got this. Stay focused. Ready and willing. Stand ready. Stops. 
Great hit action. You're outclassed. I know my own strength. Naturally. Thank you. 
moves. I just worked harder. I'll celebrate later.
This is what I do. I have to try harder. Train better. Life doesn't always go as planned. Must all do our part. I learned a lot from this. Let's do this again. Preposterous. I will do better next time. This was hardly a challenge for me. <laughs> it was only a trifle. This was hardly a challenge for me. I'm beginning to understand.
can't sing very loud. Singing's okay, but I should really have a cute dance to go along with it. Hey, Professor. What are you doing daydreaming in a place like this? It's lucky. As spacey as you are, you're always reliable in a pinch. <laughs> Not as much as you. It's hard to tell what's going on in that skull of yours. Your expression is always blank. Come on, smile. <laughs> I was just playing around. Don't get mad. By the way, in the next battle, may I focus on logistical support? Off the battlefield, there's no use having a weakling like me in the middle of the action. And it would bring down morale if I were killed. Have you even seen me, Professor? Look at these noodly little arms! I should be cheering everyone on from the sidelines. It'll certainly improve the boys' morale, don't you think? Because even if I do, I won't be of any help. My big brother is the type of person who's supposed to be on the battlefield. For me, it's just a waste of energy. It's pointless. Everyone's cut out for something different. The right person for the right task, you know? Please, Professor. Keep me off the battlefield, and maybe I won't tell everyone you are daydreaming. <laughs> There, it's over. Experience is everything. Hmm, I see. Oh yeah, getting the hang of it.
Lysithia? What's all this commotion? What's happening? There's been an accident at the training grounds. A spell gone amok. Come on, we need all the help we can get over there. Oh no, but I don't know how I... We could really use your help before things get out of hand. Come on, hurry! I... I don't think I would be much help. Oh, for the goddess's sake! You won't know unless you try, will you? Don't decide you're of no use without even giving it a shot! Fine then, forget it. I'll go on my own. You can just stand here and stare at the wall. I... <sighs> I'm sorry, I can't do anything right. Oh, perhaps I took it too far. Hey, um, Marianne, do you have a minute? Listen, I'm sorry about all the stuff I said earlier. The situation was urgent, and I'll admit, I wasn't thinking clearly. I shouldn't have been so callous. I hurt your feelings, didn't I? No, it's fine. I'm the one to blame. Huh? But, hey, are you sure you're all... I'm the one who should apologize. All I did was get in your way. You would have made it to the training grounds much sooner if I hadn't slowed you down. Huh? Wait a second. It's all my fault. It's always my fault. The accident was probably my fault, too. You're being so... negative. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Pass out. Ah! Oh, Lysithia, you're really pale. Yeah, I've been feeling really queasy all morning. I'm just heading back to my quarters to rest. Can you even make it there in that state? Here, climb on my back. I'll carry you. What? What? No, no. I'm not some sort of infant. Always worried about looking like a kid. No time for that now. Just get on. <sighs> I'm feeling a bit better now. I should be okay from here. Thank you so much, Leonie. I hope I wasn't too heavy. Was I? <laughs> no, not at all. It actually made for a fun bit of training. Uh, training? Yeah. Carrying someone around is good for the legs. You're just the right weight for it, too. I might ask you to help me train again sometime. Anything can be a kind of training with the right attitude, you know? Are you always thinking about training? Well, I can't devote all my time purely to training. So it's more efficient if I can train while I get other stuff done at the same time. Wouldn't that actually be rather inefficient? Huh? What do you mean? Well, for example, if you're training for endurance, it seems running would be a better approach. If you're only ever training by cramming it in with other tasks, you won't be getting the best results. I'm no expert on the subject, but even I can logic that one out. Come to think of it, you do always seem to stick to a pretty rigid schedule, don't you? I notice that you focus completely on whatever it is you've set out to do. Then you switch to something else and focus completely on that. You've noticed, have you? Now that I think about it, you may be right. Maybe that is the more efficient way to do things. Hey, you're really bright, Lysithia. Thanks so much for the helpful advice. That was sweet of Leonie to check on me and carry me all the way to my quarters. And in the end, I just lectured her. She did thank me for it, but uh, I probably could have handled that better. Why do I have to clean the library? It looks like you're not busy. I was quite busy sampling pastries, I'll have you know. Who wants to sort books anyway? They're so bulky and heavy, it takes forever to lug them around. 
right, Marianne? You agree with me, right? N no I don't mind it. Oh, you like cleaning then? I will say you look like someone who'd be good at it. I, um, well... In that case, it's all yours. I'd only slow you down if I'm being honest. As I always say, if you want something done right, let someone else do it themselves. Um... Right, I'm off to run some errands. I'll leave all this in your capable hands. Hey, Marianne, are you? Whoa, what happened? This place looks even worse than before. I didn't realize that was possible. I'm sorry, Hilda. I just didn't know the best way to organize the books while sorting. Oh, well, no way around it, I suppose. I'll show you how it's done. First, you have to decide where you'll put each topic. Then, all of the books that don't match that topic, remove them from the section. When you remove them, you need a temporary place to put them. Let's put books on magic here, books on swordsmanship here. Once you've done that, you just put the books back in their sections, like so. Wow, Hilda, that was incredible. Yeah, yeah, what kind praise. Looks like, in the end, I'm doing this whole thing on my own, hmm? Sorry. The least I can do is help you put them back on the shelf. <laughs> Yeah, I've got this down. I'm beginning to understand. Hey, Teach. Glad you can make it. We've been waiting on you. It seems the Knights have our foes cornered. They are in Xanado, the Red Canyon. It's bandit time? That sounds like real night work. Let's get to it. I'm itching to put my skills to the test as well. We have to win so Captain Gerald can see how much I've learned. I thought Gerald wasn't coming with us. Either way, I'll give it everything I've got. Um, even if I go, it's not like I'd be of any use. That's enough of that. If we don't work together and give it our all, we are doomed to fail. You can be pretty intense sometimes, Lysithia. But I agree. Let's do our best. If we fight half as well as we chatter, we'll be fine. Come on, Teach. Lead the way.
So, we are taking children into battle, are we? I am not certain I will be able to sleep soundly after beholding something like that. I shall allow you to turn back the hands of time. But no, this power is not infinite. So this is the Red Canyon. Doesn't look red to me. Anyway, let's get things started, Teach. Looks like the thieves have been driven back. That's what we last heard, so no surprise there. The knights chased us all the way here? Chief, let's get out of here. There's no way we can win against them. Shut your dumb mouth! Where would we go at this point? You can't be a thief if you fear death! I hear there's a back road to the west. How about we split up and attack from there and from the front? We may be able to corner the enemy by approaching from both sides. In any case, we need to cross the bridge first. I'll leave the details to you, Teach. I got this. Me? Stay focused.
seems I've exhausted this topic. This is what I do. A precious opportunity to test my own strength. I won't make waste of your deaths. Magnificent. Nobles must be strong. It is a noble's duty to guard the welfare of the people. Nothing personal. Thank you. Stay focused. I 
I've reached the pinnacle. proud this is my first real fight I guess I'm pretty strong I'm sorry, I didn't have a choice. Thanks for that. do-over this is what I've trained for Thank you. 
Should I have held back? Such power dwells within. Sorry, but victory is mine. We were taken by surprise last time, but I guess this is what we can expect when battling thieves. We stole this treasure! It's all ours! There's no way we're gonna give it up to some knights! <laughs> Thank you. 
this power really mine? Expected as much. Last. Outmatched. Perfect comprehension. down to this. Good try.
A trivial victory. Nobles must be strong. I still have much to learn. Try even harder next time. I feel like I get it now.
Be mindful. Estimated me. There's still a long way to go. from before? So what, now you're pals with the knights? Uh, I'll kill you and your pesky brats! Let us know. Now's our chance. or how hard your life is. Your logic is illogical. I 
should have never listened to that idiot. What a mistake. Ugh. Gotta keep improving. Those thieves ran out of luck when they entered this canyon. They never had a chance. Your leadership was amazing, Teach. Let's leave the rest of this work to the Knights. that you recall this place. You must be weak of heart. Each time I speak, it scares you so. Do you think you can lie to me? It saddens me to know you wish to hide such things from me. Well, anyhow, I am quite fascinated by this place. As far as I can tell, this is your first time here. How very odd. I wonder if somehow my memories have... Hmm... I must admit I am unsure. Beyond the name and this strange feeling of familiarity, I can't seem to remember anything about this place. And yet, a great depth of emotions tied to that sense of familiarity. Like joy and sorrow, pain and love, and all things in between. If I was somehow here before, I wonder what took place. Teach, what are you doing here? We should get back to the Academy. It is time to depart. But know that time reveals all things. One day I will remember that which I have lost. Oh, by the way, it seems you've earned my gratitude. The thieves who came here are no more. I am not sure myself, yet I am grateful all the same. In any case. You must become accustomed to my voice. If you fall down with shock each time I speak, that just won't do. Oh, you think you're standing strong? <laughs> of course you are. It was a jest. Hey, Teach. On the way back, you seemed transfixed by the canyon. Did something happen there? It seemed familiar to you? Huh, can't say the same. Maybe it's a memory from when you were a child, or from a past life. Anyway, if you can't remember, I guess there isn't really much more to be said. Although, I'll admit, there is something about that canyon that has me captivated as well. How did Xanado come to be called the Red Canyon? Nothing there was actually red. So you have safely disposed of those bandits. I pray that their souls find salvation. But why did they target the students to begin with? We must further investigate the true cause of all that took place. Until we know more, I ask that you support the students and relieve them of any unnecessary worry. Good. I have high expectations for you. By the way, how was your time in Xanado? Legend has it, in ancient times, a goddess alighted upon this world in that very canyon. For a goddess from the heavens, Xanado could only have been a temporary haven.
Long ago, the Divine Seros received a revelation from the Goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. The Goddess is always watching over Fodlan from her kingdom above. However, in ancient times, the Goddess graced this world with her presence and offered salvation to the people here. She is the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. I see. During your time here, I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Seros. Uh, Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. As you wish. We shall continue our discussion when next we meet. A goddess? I have no memory of her. But then, I have no memory at all. Oh, how bothersome. It is as though I know, and yet I don't. Perhaps Xanardo was my home back when the goddess walked the land. If so, what does that make me now? A ghost? Hmm. No, that cannot be. I am most certainly alive. Of course, we also have the mystery of why I'm here with you. Is it somehow connected? Perhaps some past regret is stopping me from moving on, and now I'm forced to stay with you instead. No, that's not it. I can't believe in such a meaningless existence. I... Uh... <sighs> Thank <laughs> you.